Hey everyone, I had to split this video into uh, two for one episode because it lets me record for an hour and I spend past an hour. So yeah. As soon as you want to head out, I could use a job. Here, I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? Oh, uh, yeah, she might, I suppose. Yeah, give it to her. I can take care of myself. Okay. Have a candy bar. Here you go. Thank you. Of course. Stuck. Okay, you're not allowed to go that way. Okay. What's the radio thing? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Batteries in it? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. It needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. They batteries here, or they batteries somewhere else. I guess there's just no batteries here because I don't see any batteries. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate up there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yeah, we don't need them. <laughs> days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Pair of photo or two. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, I think that's his brother over seconds. there. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Think you can do anything with this? Could do. What's that? 
universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doc. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Brick. I can't reach that brick. Well, maybe he can. We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually went here. Open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doc. <laughs> Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. I can't reach that brick. What are we gonna do then? Go back inside and go with that one guy. Now my phone hit the floor. That's what that was. No, don't accept. Don't let execute. That was odd. Let's head back inside. Okay. Well, yeah, I had the same shirt. I saw, I seen like three in a row had the same exact orange shirt. You're a pretty good shot. You don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go say that we're nude. My headphones unplugged. All right, that wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her, with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress.
I got a way of getting to mating. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. That was sick. should hold on to that. Could come in handy. That was awesome. <laughs> Some ugly critters. Scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. So that zombie over there. Dude, where'd your weapon go? 
into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. I'd rather have this big weapon. Go, 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 go. Why don't you guys like behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. Go up the stairs. Be very silent. And gotta go this way with my ex and stab you in the head now you're so dead now it's your turn rad. your head and it was really rad hello in there we're here to help please just go away Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop! I'm coming out. I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me, please go. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. But it makes loud noises, and I think we lost our pillow. It's just one bullet. And I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up! Please! Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss. Loud noises. Relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... Oh, no, no, no! Let's get out of here. Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. 
Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out of the way. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Okay, no. Yeah, get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Doop, doop, doop. Have a look around outside. Let's have a look around. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Well, I'm not do a hair steal. Few seconds of searching it, we'll know if he has the keys. Please <laughs> stand up, we're trying. <laughs> I've got to knock that lock off of there. Why are you standing up? Didn't just sit down. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock off of there. The brick. I can't reach that brick. Can you reach the brick? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. We should think about searching that I guy hit the wrong button. I went to hit circle. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. How do you stand enough? He just text up and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. <laughs> no, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time. On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. Where are you? <sighs> I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. I can't reach that brick. Okay, get it. Tell him to reach the brick. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice. You know? <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. Pardon my French. Hey, bud. 
you were there, I would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Love, mouth. I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. He started talking. They didn't even put the lock on. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. How long is these episodes? So long has to put them on two videos. On all for one episode. Gotta hurry. My eyes. Oh, <laughs> 
don't have to make a dead choice. I guess they've heard she's a better shooter. He punched me in the face. He's gonna get killed, I hope. Gonna stab him the throat. Who's that one girl? Please tell me this is the end of the tri of the episode. I hope it is because this is way too long. It's like about uh, an hour. Hey, Glenn. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Sorry for not to talk to. I don't really like talking that much. Cause I don't really know why. I just don't like talking. Sorry for quiet. No, goodbye, person. I forgot his name. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. You said you wanted kids once. Uh, I did, yeah. Well, she's not your daughter, so you can't treat her like she is. Yeah, I know that. But you can take care of her. Hell, maybe better than a father even could. Thanks, Kitty. I got your back, pal. Okay. I'm stuck on something right here and I can't go that way. How you doing, Carly? 
I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. I'm sorry, Carl. It's okay. Thanks, though. There's been a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carmen. Dinosaur's toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck. Uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. There's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's I got grabbed again. I was there though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. It's just a walkie-talkie. It probably wasn't much use to begin with. It wasn't just a walkie-talkie. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Sure. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? Like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. Well, I don't really care about Clementine. Hey, he cares Lee, about nobody else. Do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Need to watch this kid To be continued. Is that the end of the episode? It is. If you guys enjoyed, please drop a like, and we will continue this game eventually, probably tomorrow. Goodbye.